Capricorn, welcome to your September reading. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, so let's start with a little bit of astrology, just the September vibes. Pluto is uh, in Capricorn as of yesterday. It's going to be there. It's not going to be there for another 200 years. So this is the last time we see Pluto Capricorn in Capricorn. It's retrograde. So this is your second house, Taurus energy. This is about your environment, your luxury. Meaning, what what is luxury? What does luxury mean to you? Like, what is comfort to you? What is pleasure to you? It's about possessions as well. Um, I'm 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 hearing a home. Some of you are moving. Some of you decide to get closer to nature, or you decide to farm. I'm hearing. Just uprooting to rebuild here for my Sages. Mars went, is going into Cancer, sorry, on the 4th, two days from now. It's in Jupiter, but it's about to go into Cancer. Again, the home energy. Uh, like I said, so Jupiter's in Gemini. So again, that's, you know, this is giving neighborhood vibes. This is giving like, where do I want to live next? Some of you might have been diagnosed with something where like an illness an ailment where you need to be closer to nature or something like that too that's possible or you just feel like your abundance is elsewhere and so you need to move some want to move to the mountains some of you want to move just you want to be your environment it doesn't reflect where you want to go now okay let's just say that or what you need right now so that's what is going on. Uh, we still have Neptune and Saturn retrograde in Pisces. Those are not going to be moving until December, November, December. But we have this big eclipse coming up there. So, <coughs> excuse me. What's that? What sign is that for you guys, Sag? Uh, Gemini is your seventh, uh, sixth, fourth. That's your fourth house. Again, home energy. And like I said, Jupiter is in your seventh house of Gemini. So that's neighborhoods, communities, building new communities, uh, maybe joining a community. Best possible decision you could have ever made, Spirit says. And just things are, you need things to be easy. You have a desire for things to be easier, lighter more centered around nature, more centered about around the easy life. Just like having a really positive perspective, wanting a more easy life. Like I said, whatever environment you are in, whomever you are with, or whatever uh, you are going through or you've discovered about yourself requires you to move literally or move or change something drastically okay does that make sense so best possible decision you could have ever made spirit says and spirit is helping you with this as well yeah somewhere where you could be authentic i feel like you feel like things are closing in on you with 9 10. uh like you you just can't be your authentic self where you are at yeah it's not fun your energy is low uh you have decided wisely and with divine guidance to make a change in your environment. And that is really, really good. Sagittarius. This is definitely going to ease, make your life easier, make your life more, <clears throat> how do you say this? Healthy, first of all, but also I'm, I'm hearing flow. When I was meditating on your energy flow. You know, it's going to make you appreciate your life even more. Perhaps where you are, you have no appreciation, no longer have appreciation for the people or the environment around you. Yeah, you're not able to relax. You want to relax. Yeah, some of you just had it. You've been in the fast life. You, need, you want to ground yourself. You want healthy boundaries. Yes. Relax relaxation. I can't I don't know why I can't talk anymore. Mercury is not retrograde. I mean it's in Leo. 
but it's not retrograde no longer but we're in shadow post so you have healthy boundaries relaxation and grounding yes this is what's happening here yeah you want to just the simple things in life joy and music that's what you want some of you could this could be something you discovered when you went on a trip and you're like oh my god my soul is calling me here this is where i need to be i can be authentic here i'm gonna make the decision to move and it, it's the best possible decision you can make you may, maybe on, you went maybe on a meditation retreat or something some kind of community you discovered is just more suitable for where you want to go how you see your life in the next i don't know 10 five years five ten years it just inspires you it is more um <clears throat> aligned with your vibration yeah door to person yes exactly it's about something about community here door to personal healing and happiness and caring connections yeah you met some new people that resonate more with you it's about community there's balance there look you see there's balance there <clears throat> caring connections community door to personal healing and happiness some of you just retired you're like ah okay i'm retired now i'm just gonna take a break i'm gonna take care of what do i love what do i love uh to do mm, what have what have i like uh put aside because of my career or because i was raising my children grandchildren whatever now it's time to focus on me i'm hearing and what i want is to relax i want to be in the energy of joy i want to be in this like really high vibration and meet people, caring people that vibrate on the same level I vibrate on. I want to be my true authentic self. And this is beautiful. Yeah, you want to change. Again, beauty, beauty, joy, music. You're understanding that, that abundance is not even about material things now. It, it's about being happy. Some of you worked all your life, whether, you know, both juggling family and work. And now some of you are retired or about to retire or you just don't want to follow the system anymore. I'm hearing somehow you're rebelling for your own happiness, for your own joy. I'm hearing going off the grid. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be shocked. Some people are going to be happy for you because they acknowledge, you know, how hard it was for you. You're deciding to follow your Ten of Cups. Yes, look at this. Uh, Ten of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Two. You're on a no whole new path here. And the Two of Wands. Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups, Two of Wands. You're following your path to, towards your door to personal healing and happiness. What that means to you. What is your Ten of Cups? Pisces, fourth house for you. Saturn is doing this. Saturn is making you reevaluate with Neptune. What are your dreams at this stage here of your life? What else, Spirit? I don't know. Hmm. Let's get some right, original right away to clarify. Taking a lead. Yeah, I saw the Emperor the bottom deck with the Nine of Cups. Again, following your dreams. Nine is ten is very prominent here in your reading. Nine ten. Or ten nine. Take it as it resonates. Seven seven. taking control of what excites you what ignites you your soul Knight, uh, queen of wands sorry i don't know why i'm tongue-tied jeez what honors your desires your dreams and you're going after it you're letting go of burden <coughs> and confusion of normal life or the life you've been leading until now 
and you're standing up for yourself. Again, Knight, the Queen of Wands is giving me rebellion. <laughs> it is. It's going to spirit animal. I didn't go up bird. This is all wands here. Your energy. Again, 10. I'm telling you, 10, 10, 7, and 5 are very prominent in your reading. So the Ten of Wands is burdens, it's obsession, it's like being obsessed with fortune, you know, it's a, it's about taking so much on your shoulders and what you have to do to make everybody happy, you know, and then this is mental strife, confusion, not even knowing what you want, just like really focus on, not gain in a frivolous way, but focus on things being the way they're supposed to be, because society said so. I feel like now you're following your heart. And your heart wants something else. Your heart wants beauty. Your heart wants joy. Your heart wants music, friendships, creativity. Yeah, you're letting go. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Groundhog spirit. You've been doing, like I said, you've been grinding. And that's admirable, especially that's that shows determination that determination as well. You know, don't I'm not gonna knock that. Especially if you were doing it for your family, you know, whatever the circumstance was, I'm sure you were doing it because you had no choice. But I feel like now you've done so much. Spirit wants you to think about yourself. Okay. You wanna lay a solid foundation somewhere else. That's that change energy here. Love is all around you. That, those are the caring connections here, the community. That's what you want. You just don't want stress anymore, you know, and you want to claim your independence. Like I said, you want to think about you now for once, I hear, for once. It's time to focus on what makes you happy, what ignites your soul. You've done so much for others. It's time to pour in yourself. Yeah, transformation. You're the beautiful butterfly. And you're flying away. <laughs> That's beautiful spirit. Beautiful message, last but not least, from the Wisdom Oracle. I bent the card yesterday. That really pisses me off. My Virgo moon doesn't like that. Anywho... Happy September. It's your 11th house. Yeah, that's that independence. No, wait, it's not your 11th house. It's your 10th. Again, those, those solid foundations I was talking about with that Pluto Capricorn, which is your second Taurus energy. One last card for Sag spirit taking control. Remember, we saw the Emperor and the Nine of Cups in the bottom of the deck of the Tarot, the original. Yeah, that's giving again fire. There's so much fire here. You are definitely present here. And then with this Queen of Wands right there in the middle, that's you. One is the Emperor, it's your sovereignty, claiming your independence. Going on a journey to meditation and exchanging gifts, caring connections. I just got shivers again. And fate. You know this is your, what you're supposed to do. It's calling you. It definitely is calling you. Like I said, something about a retreat, have, needing, wanting to retreat. Something you did. Some kind of meditation retreat or yoga retreat you went to somewhere. Um, <clears throat> dare I say some of you want to go to India. Maybe you don't want to move, but you definitely want to take a sabbatical and just dodge get out of dodge for at least six months a year you know you need this mental spiritual shift that you're yearning your body's yearning for and it could be india because music you know joy this beauty india has so many flavors you know it's like it's so colorful you know spiritually um like i said some of you may, might want to go to an ashram or something you're planning on doing that that's what you're doing 
or some retreat, a painting retreat, something to do that, that combines everything that's that feel good energy, you know, art, yoga, spirituality, cleansing, dancing, connecting with nature, connecting with the stars, the moon. It's a pilgrimage. It's a pilgrimage. It's giving pilgrimage here to find yourself again. You've given so much. You've been so confused. Ten of wands, five of wands here. That you, you forgot the taste of happiness. You've forgotten the taste of happiness. And I repeat, Spirit says, this is the best possible decision you could do for yourself. And you deserve it. Okay, guys? All right. I hope this resonated. If it did, consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. Like the video. Comment below. I'm curious. Where? What are you guys planning? Because I feel some planning here. Okay. And I'll see you guys next time. I'll do a reading for the solar. Is it a solar the eclipse that's coming up? <clears throat> I think it's a lunar though because it's a lunar eclipse yeah it's a lunar i'll do an all signs for that so tune in and i'll see you guys bye